What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be looking at five things that we have learnt from the Manchester City 1-0 away win in Greece against Olympiakos in the Champions League which has ensured that Manchester City have qualified for the last 16 for the Champions League. But before we crack on with this video make sure like always if you are enjoying the content you want to help to support my channel then you subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on to be notified immediately for when I do upload. I'm aiming for 15,000 subscribers, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. You can subscribe, it is free. Don't forget also my social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries, don't forget also leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video and also most importantly let me know your thoughts of this Manchester City victory in the Champions League in the comments below. So let's crack on with the five things that we have learnt and the first thing that we have learnt, the most important thing that we have learnt is Manchester City just aren't being clinical enough. Now Man City have won the game, we have picked up the three points uh, and we have picked up a clean sheet as well so there is lots for us to be positive about. However, have a look at the stats, Man City completely dominating the stats and it's just suggesting that Manchester City simply are not putting their chances away. City are creating opportunities, they're making things happen, they are finding the space. Everything is pretty much as normal uh, for this game for Manchester City and what you would expect for City from uh, Pep Guardiola. The only thing that's lacking uh, was putting the ball into the back of the net and being clinical and there was uh, three or four very, very good opportunities for us to have done that. And I am disappointed that we haven't scored uh, three or four goals in this game, if I'm completely honest. I mean, I'm ecstatic that we've won the game. That is ultimately what does matter. And getting that one goal uh, with them not scoring any is definitely the most important stat. However, uh, I am looking for City to be more clinical. And my concern going up against a negative Burnley side on Saturday is that we're going to have to be clinical because they're going to make it difficult for us to create too many opportunities. And so when we do create them opportunities we need to make sure that the ball is going into the back of the net so I'm hoping that in training City will definitely be working on that I do feel like we're missing a deadly Sergio Aguero and informed Sergio Aguero uh, would mean that all problems have been solved for Manchester City but as it is it is what it is in City definitely needing to address this striker situation if not in January certainly in the summer uh, for next season because uh, ultimately, ultimately we are looking for that long term Sergio Aguero replacement and I was just thinking during this game uh, if I Man City, I'd be willing to speak to Borussia Dortmund and just say to them, look, how much do you want for Erling Haaland this summer? And pay it and sign him. Young, quick, quality, good in the air, good outside the box, good inside the box. They say uh, being clinical and not having a quality striker there, all of a sudden, sign Haaland, all them problems disappear. And I would pay big money to have someone like Haaland at Manchester City. And I think that if City did show interest, uh, Haaland would like to join us too, considering his father played for Manchester City. And there are pictures of him being in a Manchester City shirt. Uh, so yeah, there's obviously a link there for us. So I would like that to happen. I don't think it will happen, but I would like for that to happen. So yeah, uh, having Haaland in this game, I feel like we maybe would have scored two or three goals. So that's just my thoughts though um, and that in my opinion is what we have learned that the uh, desperation for a good quality striker to come in is just becoming more and more apparent. Now moving on to the second thing that we have learned from this game is uh, just how good Phil Foden is. Now in some games Phil Foden has been absolute quality for Manchester City. He's getting more and more minutes, more and more starts and more and more games in Manchester City which is really good to see and in some of these games he is doing uh, fantastically well. In other games he is learning uh, and he isn't, um, he's not a senior player so I'm not expecting Phil Foden to come in and uh, perform on a regular basis and pulling in uh, 8 out of 10 performances and that does happen but in this game I felt like Phil Foden uh, getting the, the goal, he's getting my JSGC man of the match, getting the only goal of the game showing his clinical touch, uh, appearing and popping up in spaces as well, thought he had a really good game for Manchester City and considering he's so young um, I'm really excited about the future of Phil Foden. I'm looking forward to seeing more and more of him uh, over the coming uh, season, seeing how many starts he does get for City and just how well he can do. It is really good to see seeing good, young, quality academy players like Phil Foden really developing and uh, becoming their own at Manchester City. So, a uh, wonderful performance there from Phil Foden. Now, the third thing that we did learn from this game um, is that I'm starting to see more and more a couple of Manchester City players that are just needing to step up a little bit and really up their game. Now, I 
know we've got a lot of good quality in our team and I just feel like that word good needs to show more with some of the players. Now, now I don't want to nitpick at uh, lots of players so I'm not going to mention any names but there are a couple of individual players at Manchester City that I feel like uh, not so much they're not pulling their weight but uh, they're playing not to the best of their ability and I feel like if they were um, we'd be doing a lot better than what we are and so I'm just looking for each individual at Manchester City to be really showing their quality and showing why they are at Manchester City because I feel like if everyone did do that um, and then I feel like we'd be having a, a better season in particular in the Premier League uh, than what we are this season. Of course it's just looking at what they've learned from this game. I saw it again uh, so this allows me then to name a couple of individuals so I'm looking towards the Raheem Sterlings to show their clinical finishing again like we saw last season. I'm looking at Ilkay Gundogan as well in the middle uh, presented a couple of good opportunities to at least put shots on target which ended up going wide as well I'm looking towards Gabriel Jesus to be getting them goals as well uh, these are players that I'm uh, really looking to try and make the difference here at Manchester City and try and do uh, you know to uh, pull us where we need to be um, and so uh, yeah that's what I'm seeing more and more of uh, this season now uh, the fourth thing that I've learned from this game is that uh, I just don't think Olympiacos are that good now I know Man City um, in terms of how we play under Pep Guardiola uh, we if you do allow us to do so we will completely dictate a game and that is exactly what happened in this game it's one of the most comfortable 1-0 victories that I've seen from Manchester City under Pep Guardiola uh, but I looked at Olympiacos and looking what problems they were going to cause us and I didn't really see much. I wanted them to have a real good go at us to put us under pressure. I feel like that would have made this game a better game and yes, it would have played into the hands of Man City because it allowed us even more space than what we could muster up. However, uh, I just don't feel like Olympiacos had uh, too much to offer, really. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what I've learned from this game. I'm sure there'll be people out there uh, that will disagree and you are free to your opinions. Now, uh, the fifth thing that I learned from this game um, is that Manchester City uh, just need to start working on putting that ball into the back of the net, really. Uh, there's a couple of times where Benjamin Mendy put in drilled balls across the box that I felt like the strikers and the attacking players should have just been taking shots on first time rather than to control. Mendy's crossing, I can criticise if I want to, um, but he does put low, powerful crosses uh, and so there isn't really much uh, you, you're going to have to be an exceptional controller of the ball to control a, a, a low cross coming in so quickly and I feel like the best method is just to uh, put your foot through that ball uh, and try and guide the ball towards the net. Uh, I saw Monaco do that time and time again with Benjamin Mendy so I feel like that is uh, one area that City could look at um, but uh, yeah it's a completely dominating display this from Manchester City. Uh, need to work on putting that ball into the back of the net uh, and ensuring that we are seeing out games because uh, it got to the last couple of minutes and whilst it was very comfortable for Manchester City uh, all Olympiacos need to do is come forward once one shot, one goal and, and bam we'd have had a point and it would have been a, an unjustified point that we'd have had when we should have had three um, and there will be times in the Premier League where you'll get punished for not doing that so we need to make sure that isn't happening Happening, but as it is I'm happy with Man City's performance for this game against Olympiacos it's nice to get back uh, to winning ways it's nice to hit 12 points from 12 in the Champions League. It's nice to have qualified once more for the last 16 of the Champions League. Um, that's eight years in a row now for City, so definitely continued progress from there. Uh, we need to be making sure now that we are sealing first place, which we know we can do if we just avoid defeat next midweek in our game against FC Porto in Portugal, which will be a very difficult game, so I am looking forward to that game. But first, our attention will turn towards Burnley at the weekend, uh, which we will be back for and doing a live watch along i've unfortunately not been able to do a live watch along of this olympiacos match uh, that's due to me just not finishing work before the kickoff time so i didn't want to midway through a game just do a live stream it's not the quality that i'm looking for i like to cover all aspects of the game but we'll definitely be back for that burnley game on saturday so do stay tuned for that Make sure you go and check out my other videos too. Leave your thoughts in the comments below of this game as well. What were you happy with? What wasn't you happy with? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button. Press the bell and put your push notifications on. Aiming for 15k subscribers. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. Don't forget also social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and search for me and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business 
to send Quiries City back to winning ways. Three points once more on the road in the Champions League. Is this year going to be the year that Man City uh, finally uh, make progress into the Champions League uh, and maybe even win it? Who knows? But all you can ask for is perfection. And at this moment in time, four wins from four is definitely perfection. We'll see how we get on again in our match against FC Porto next week in the Champions League. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.